here we are. Welcome to our introduction to music reading workshop. I'm glad you're here. This is something that has changed my life as a musician all the way from my days as a student to now being Terry Kerb, you collect the pros, rock collect the pros, all that stuff. But this one thing that I learned early on in my career has changed a lot of stuff for me. Got me a lot of work because I know how to read music, both as a musician, playing music that you can see from like a studio musician standpoint when I was doing studio sessions and had to read music to being hired to notate things, uh, do charts for some great bands out there, Josh Groban, Weezer, um, to doing all the books that we have, what do we have over 15, 20 books, uh, you collect the pros book, rock collect the pros book, handouts that I can give you now today with it. So anyway, this has been a really, really big thing. And what it does too is it's a technique builder because you're jumping around strings so much. You also get a much better understanding of the fretboard as we work up and down. Up and down the neck, up and down the strings as well. You're going to play with better timing. You're going to see music in a much bigger way. You're going to see notes. You're going to see rhythms. You're going to see shapes of melodies. And, uh, and this is just going to help everything in your playing. So this is the introduction. All right. So if you've come here with no experience, not a problem. This is a perfect spot for you. We do have a handout, by the way. If you want that handout, you haven't received it yet because you have not signed up yet. You do have to sign up for that. We'll put that in the chat, that link. Uh, my team's here. And this is going to be really fun. We did, a, we did a workshop last week on music reading. We got a second workshop coming up this Friday. So this is a perfect thing for you. And if you're ready either now or by the time we get to the end of this workshop, this introduction workshop, if you're ready to make the commitment becoming a better music reader here on the ukulele, then we have a special offer for you where we're going to bundle up my beginning music reading course. That's up at youcollectthepros.com um, and the two workshops. The first workshop we did not too long ago, which is last week. And then you're also going to get the second one included as well, all for one low price. So uh, anyway, we'll put that link in the chat. Mm -hmm. So those are those ready to go. All right. So let's make sure you're here. Like put something in the chat. Okay. I can't see you. I'm the only one on the Zoom call. But since I can't see you like we normally do, just make yourself known in the chat. Say hi. Let us know where you're from. Tell us what ukulele you're playing. Tell, you know, whatever. Are you a beginner? Have you been playing music reading? You know, done music reading in a, before? Maybe you even did it on a different instrument. Maybe you were a trombone player and you used to read music or a cello player or a guitar player or a saxophone player or whatever. So drop that in the chat. This is going to be a great, great workshop. I'm glad you're here. We're going to go over the basics today. And so by the end of today, you're going to learn how to, you're going to be able to read a song, a song that I wrote. You're going to be able to read that song and play it on the ukulele. That's my promise to you by the end of this workshop, which won't even take us that long even if you've never done this before, uh, even if you've never done this before, we're going to get you playing a song that I wrote for you, uh, reading it, no tablature, right? We're not just going to be, we're not just strumming chords. We're actually going to be playing. We're actually going to be playing enough, not that, that was chords. Enough. Just have a good time. So all right, grab your uke. We're going to get started here. Uh, in just a second, we got some be special bonuses and stuff for you guys today too. So let me just let me check the chat here. Got to put the glasses on. I can't see. <laughs> I can't see anymore. Maybe maybe too many times to uh, maybe too many times to uh, on Zoom calls here. So, all right, what's up, Amy, Greg, Kason, Jackie, Michaela, Mark, Brenda, who was the first one to check in, Jennifer. Mary, Maria, Craig, Dennis. All right. All right, Craig. Awesome. Awesome, Craig. Yeah. So I, I have my black label today. 
And what we're going to do today is we're just going to cover the first couple of strings. Right? Now, the, Friday, the next workshop, which is in Friday in just a couple of days, and if, if you're a Platinum member, you're going to get that workshop already. That's included. That's the one thing we do with our Platinum membership is you get all these workshops, you get all the challenges, you get all the Q&As. Um, if you want to get by just that workshop, you can. Or I would just say buy that bundle we got. Because if you decided that you want to take the next step, then just buy that bundle we have of the music reading course and the two workshops, including the one for Friday. Uh, and then on Friday, we're going to get into the lower strings, including the low G. And I've already had that handout already. It's fantastic. It's going to really challenge you and your skills. All right. So that's Friday, but today we're going to keep it, we're going to keep it simple. Um, yeah. But anyway, I got my, I got my Koloha black label. Um, I just, I just sent a Koloha to a, a good buddy of mine in Florida. Yeah. A good buddy of mine in Florida who I saw last week when I was in Florida and he wanted to play ukulele. So we're sending him a, a nice Koloha as well. All right. Some of you I've talked to recently, huh? Elaine, I talked to yesterday. Um, uh, did, who else did I talk to? Some of you I've been talking to, we've been calling you. So, uh, okay, good. And Martin, by the way, the Martin, uh, we are getting closer and closer and closer to becoming a Martin dealer. So he's stopping by next week, our rep. I'm going to be out of town, uh, but uh, he's going to stop by and check out the store, see my manager and stuff here. Um, and so fingers crossed y'all, because it's been about, three or four years that I've been harassing Martin to become a dealer. And they're finally, maybe, <laughs> maybe going to let us become a dealer. He's going to come to the, the warehouse here and uh, inspect us, make sure we're, we're worthy of the Martin membership uh, dealership. That is, uh, which I think we are. Anybody that's been in our store, we know that we got a great, a great store here in, in San Diego, a uh, big store. We got a big showroom. Now we got a big warehouse. Um, so anyway, keep, keep your fingers crossed on this one for us. Um, and then also we got our Yukon Festival, which I can basically see from these windows behind me, which is across the street, uh, August 27th. So make sure you, you click the pros.com slash Yukon. That's going to be phenomenal. We, we, I was talking, we were talking about, we got the food trucks coming, Hawaiian shaved ice. We got a taco truck coming. We got a barbecue place, which funny enough, also has vegetarian food uh, for that. We got beer and wine. We got drinks, vendors, performances, workshops, virtual, in-person. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Okay. All right, good. Just checking everybody out here. Joe, what's up? What's up? Ismail, or Ian. Ian, by the way, Ian, who's here, just won our, one of our challenges that we just did for all our members. So we have challenges for the public. We have member challenges for all my platinum members and Ian just won uh, the blues challenge. So congratulations, Ian. I think your uke is sitting right here, by the way. Um, reach out to uh, our team and we'll get you taken care of. All right. Awesome. Kamakas are great. Yep, Kamakas are great. Matter of fact, I gotta, I gotta pay my Kamaka, my invoice. <laughs> I gotta pay my Kamaka invoice. What's up, Joanne? All right, good, good, good. All right, so anyway, let's get started on this thing. If you need the packet that I'm about to put on the screen, uh, we'll put a link, you gotta go sign up for that. You get the packet right away. Um, so if you don't have the packet, if you already signed up, you should have got the packet emailed in your email. So check that. Um, but uh, if not, sign up, we'll put the link and I don't know what the link is. So I'm gonna wait for my team to sign up, uh, put that in there. So. Anyway, but anything here is on the screen is going to be on your um, on the packet that you have that you can take home with you and, and take a look at. All right, so let me share my screen. Grab your ukes, tune it up. Woo! All right, single notes today though. Single notes today. All right, if it gets a little loud. I forgot to tell my crew that we're, uh, we're going live, but they're downstairs. Sometimes you hear the, the amp get cranked up a little bit. All right, here we go. Beginning music reading for ukulele. There it is right there. <laughs> there it is right here. So in introduction to music reading. I think this is the right 
I think this is the right packet. All right, so there we go. We'll just go through this a little bit. We're not gonna go through all the essential stuff. Matter of fact, I did a lot of this in the workshop part one. So uh, you should grab that, that special for it. But we will go over a couple of the key points, which is this notes on the staff, the notes on the neck, and then we're gonna dive right into the music reading here, okay? All right, you all ready? By the way, if you, if, you, if you know me, if you've seen my YouTube videos, you've seen my Facebook Live that we used to do, if you've seen anything, background noise is always something that's there because I have twins. We have a dog now. I have the staff down there that likes to rock out sometimes as well. So we try to do the best to uh, eliminate that. But sometimes during this live stuff, we just let it fly. Matter of fact, today when I was doing some live videos uh, out in my backyard, my kids were in a trampoline bouncing around talking and so we just keep all that stuff in for uh for good measures all right um yeah i don't think this is is this it yeah this is not the right one anyway i, I was showing you the wrong the wrong handout hold on that's that's the wrong one i need to i need you all to send me the right the hand i'm talking to my team <laughs> that handout is good but i i see the right a right handout so let me let me see where it is i got it right here I got it right here. I thought I thought I had the right one, but that was that was a different one. All right, let me go here. Let me grab it for us. There we go. There we go. Oh, she dropped it. There's like a hundred things. There's like a hundred. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna download it for you guys. Here we go. There it is. It not 101. That's why I had the wrong hand up. Anyway, this is the hand that you'll be getting. It has some of the same stuff in it, so don't worry about that. All right, now I got it. Now I got it. You got to roll with it. The show must go on. All right, there it is. Here, let me share my screen. By the way, this is a packet you'll get now. All right, when you sign up, all right, let me close some of these screens out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. Sending it to me. All right. Music reading. Here we go. All right, so this is a packet. Introduction to music reading. There we go. That's a better, that's better for us. All right, all right, that's the wrong one. Hold on, let me find it. Sorry, let me close some of these screens because I got too many, too many screens open right now. Give me a second. This is not my, uh, this is not my specialty. There it is. All right, there's a PDF. Let me make it bigger. There's a phone ringing. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to share my screen. By the way, I appreciate you all being here. If I didn't say that already, you guys are awesome making a commitment to yourself, making a commitment to this. All right, so here we go. Introduction to music reading. All right, that's a little bit about me. If you don't know much about me, go ahead. You can leave that bio. We won't get into it today too much, but uh, let's, let's just jump right into it. This, uh, uh, this is a really important page, by the way, this essentials page. You see this in every one of my books. You see this everywhere. But what we need today, but our big, our big thing today is this section of of it, all right? So this notes on the staff, this is what we really need to kind of focus in on. I don't know how these PDFs work. Sometimes they highlight things, sometimes they don't. There you go. All right, this is a section that we need more than anything because this, this talks about all our notes. So how many notes do we have in music, okay? How many notes do we have in our musical alphabet without sharps or flats, all right? Minus sharps or flats, let me grab some water. So without sharps and flats, how many notes do we have in our musical alphabet? Drop that in the chat right there. And you can also see it on the handout here. It's just seven, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then what happens after that? It repeats again, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, as the notes get higher or the notes get low lower, okay? Either way. All right, so, and all I want you to get, recognize is that today. And then if you look at the notes here on the staff, you can see as they go up, they just go up alphabetically and they go from what's called, uh, we'll start here, a note on the line, like this E note to a note in the space, like this F note. Maybe I can make this a hair bigger. All right, maybe a hair bigger. There we go. Uh, to a note on the line, like the G, to a note on the space, like the A. To a note on the line, like the B, C, D, E, F, G, all right? And today we're just gonna focus in on a couple strings, all right? But that is your musical alphabet uh, and that covers the low G. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, uh, 
uh, F sharp. Yeah, we're, we're playing C, right? F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. All right, there it is. But anyway, that's what I want you to take away from right now. Seven notes in our musical alphabet. Where's my YouTube comments? Seven, 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 seven. Lucky sevens today. Oh, Jennifer has twins too. Awesome. My twins are six. And they're amazing. Uh, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. They give me a run for my money. Yeah, a lot of energy. Um, all right, so seven notes of our musical alphabet. Now, the way we break down this music reading, and we did this again in that workshop we did last week, which was part one of the beginning music reading. I would suggest that you either purchase that course or get that bundle that we have today because that was a, a I don't know, hour and a half live that we did and we're going to do another live um friday this friday part two all right so the other thing you need to understand and this again you'll see this in every one of my books you'll see this in all my ukulele books you'll see a, something just like this in all my guitar books which is the notes on the neck and this is really really important matter of fact i did a i did a video today for the some of the chord inversions that we did and, and this is really important to have so you should have matter of fact you should have this pinned up somewhere on your wall we actually have some really cool posters here at store.ufectopros.com that have this kind of stuff up there but you want to get to know you should be, you should know all the notes on this neck you should know everything okay you should know this now we're going to just focus in on this first couple of strings here today to really kind of hone it in but you should know all the strings and you should know them all the way up the fretboard and even past the 12th fret. But to get up to the 12th fret is a good start. All right. So notes on the neck. Go ahead and print that out. Put it up. Get the poster we have. The posters are really cool. Uh, they're also on Amazon as well if you like that. That's no problem. We actually, uh, uh, yeah, got a bunch of stuff on Amazon. All right. Here's where we're going to start. We're going to start right here. Real simple. First string, A, B, and C. All right. And again, my, my goal for you today my goal for you today is you're going to learn a song. You're going to be able to read one song that I wrote for you by the end of this workshop. And that may only be in like 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Even if you've never done this before, right? Even if you've never, ever done this before, this is my promise to you that you'll be able to play it, or at least you'll be able to go home and work on it so you can play it. All right. So here we go. Real simple. All you got to do is learn three notes to get started. A, open first string, and I have the chords diagrams here to show you this. And then I have them in the notation below, and I have the note names underneath as well. All right, so you got everything you need, and get these three memorized. All right, all I'm gonna, all we gotta do is do six notes today. Okay, so notice we got the A note here. That's on the second space, counting up from the bottom, first space, second space, and the way you play this note is open first string, boom, just like that. All right, first string, open first string. That's your, that's your A note. Then the B note is right there, right on the middle, middle line or the third line, one, two, three, and it's going to be right here on the second fret of the first string. Oh man, what a great, great sounding uke I have. And then the C note, and by the way, you're going to use your third finger there. Actually, that should be a zero. There's no, there's no finger. You don't need a finger in there. So second, and then for the C note, you're going to use your third third finger on the third fret for the C note. All right. And that's it. A, B, and C. All right. So I'm going to call it some notes. You just play them. Okay. A, B, C, B, C, A, C, A, B and C. All right, if you can do that, you're well on your way. Now you know I gotta just get used to reading these notes on the staff. All right, so here we go. First exercise here, whole notes. Hopefully you know what whole notes is. If you don't, not a big deal. All you gotta do is remember that these whole notes, we're looking at this one right here. These whole notes, they ring out for four beats, all right? So we play each note on beat one. You can see that with the, notate, the notes the rhythm underneath, let it ring out for the whole measure, and then play the new note, all right? 
on this one, I gave you the note names underneath just because you're learning and you're getting better at it. Here we go. Here's your tempo. I'm just going to snap them for now. One, two, here we go. Ready. And you got A. And two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. And two, three, four. All right. Who's with me? Who's with me? Drop that. Let me know. One to five. If you're with me completely, that's a five. Five, five, five. I want everybody to have a five right now. If you don't, that's okay. Maybe there's a little piece you're missing. But let me know, by the way, thanks. Oh, 70 people here. Okay. Oh, baritone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea, Linda. We could do a baritone music reading. Yeah, because it's the same concept, but with the baritone ukulele, you have the different tuning, so the notes are going to be slightly different. Okay. All right, good. I want fives right now. All right, I want everyone to be a five. Okay, good. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's get back at it. Yeah, no way we do a lot of stuff on Zoom, but this one I just we're doing for this. And then the workshop on Friday, if you sign up for it, that will be a Zoom. So everyone will be a, on a Zoom call for that. All right, so now we're going to move forward. We're going to move on to the half notes here. Half notes get two beats each. And you notice the rhythm underneath, you'll be playing on beat one, letting it ring out, playing on beat three. You notice there's repeats. There's repeat signs there, all right? But you have half note, half note, half note, half note, half note, and then notice the whole note there, all right? Same notes. You might notice, though, does it start on the A note, or does it start on the B note, or does it start on the C note? All right, these are things you want to look for. Now, you have this handout, so if you forget, boom, you just look above. What note is it that it's starting on? And you'll recognize that this one on number two here is starting on the, the C note. Okay, so you're going to start all the way on your first string, third fret. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So it's. Say the no names out loud if you have to. And now there's a repeat. Ready. And it's. All right, notice how, how even if you feel like this is easy, which is fine. Notice how many, I mean, I, I can't even tell you how many times I've, I've gone over these particular exercises on ukulele, on the guitar, how many times I've taught it. The one of the things I promised you earlier was that your timing is gonna get better. So your counting is gonna get better. It's gonna improve because you're gonna be more conscious of it than sometimes when we're strumming. Now we're not using a metronome yet, but we could. We could use backing tracks. Matter of fact, the course has all the backing tracks to it. So use a metronome and practice the timing. So now you've got a lot of things going on. You're looking at the note, what note it is. Your brain is telling you where to play that note on the ukulele. You've seen how long that note is. So is it a whole note? Is it a half note? Is it a quarter note? Or is it an eighth note or a sixteenth note or a triplet, right? We don't get into all that today, what the rhythm is. And then you got to look ahead to see what the next note is while keeping the time going. All right. So that's the great thing about music reading. It's going to teach you how to play with better rhythm, be more conscious of the time. And then when you do your, your strumming or your. Or your finger picking or whatever it is you like to do, it's going to be better because of the music reading. And that's why I say this is one of the most important things that you need to get down as a ukulele player. And I'm not just making that up as hype because I, I believe it is true that the people that I know that can read music are, are better at their timing, at their rhythm, at their counting, and even their confidence. And of course, knowing all the notes on the neck. All right, let me, uh, let's go on. All right. If you want to ask some questions, you can ask some questions. All right, give me one, I'm gonna, hold on one second.
All right, I'm back. I just muted myself for a second because I asked Amanda to shut shut my door because uh, I hear some some packing being done here. I am at the You Collect the Pros. Uh, I call it the compound just because it's fun to say, but it's it's our warehouse, it's our shop. We do have a walk-in store that you can come in. So anyway, the guys are downstairs doing setups. We got customers coming in. Uh, they're packing stuff. They're getting stuff shipped out. So. All right, here we go. Example three, quarter notes. Quarter notes get one beat, un beat, one beat each. It means we're playing on every single beat, beat one, two, three, and four. Look at the shape of the melody here. Look at how it moves up and down. What note does it start on? A, B, or C? Is there repeat signs, right? You wanna look at all this stuff. Does it jump around? Meaning, does it jump from like an A note to a C note or a C note to an A note? Or does it just move up diatonically, A, B, C, C, B, A, all right? First note is what? A. All right, this time, why don't I get the metronome out because this is a, an easy rhythm. Get my, I use the one called Tempo on my phone. I'll count you in, here we go. We go one, two, three, four. All right. Now. How'd you do on that? Did you get the repeat? Sometimes that repeat is tricky because you gotta, you're got you looking at this note here and then you gotta get your eyes back to the first note over here. Okay, even though this is not extremely hard, but maybe it is if you're a beginner, you still gotta get your eyes, gotta get used to going over. Now, by the way, I'm very, 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 very happy that we do have this book available now. I partnered up with Al Leonard I stole this copy from Nam, so it says mock-up sample. <laughs> um, so anyway, these are available. We do have them on my store. Uh, they have them on Amazon as well. Uh, um, but anyway, the do-it-yourself ukulele book, what I love about this book, and some of you have this book, and I thank you for that support, is that this is the, like a complete, first of all, it's, it's like a, what do we say? It's a hundred and. 116 pages. I had to write, and I wrote all of it. I wrote the whole book. I did all the audio. I did all the videos that come with the book as well. Uh, but anyway, this the idea behind this book is a comprehensive book on the ukulele where you can at, at home with the book, with the videos, with the audio that you can learn ukulele. And what we did was we did songs. So we did some real songs in here. On yours, perfect, uh, Somewhere over the rainbow. I mean, we did some real songs. Uh, you can learn how to play songs, chords, rhythms, tab, music reading. I did music reading. There is music reading in this book, by the way. Um, technique, scales, it's all there. So it's a great book. It's a great beginner book. I'm really proud of it. So I want to thank Hal Leonard for that. And uh, they've been posting some of the videos we've been doing. So anyway, this is a great resource now for you. And it does have the music reading inside there. All right, let me check. I want to check the chat before we go on just because uh, I don't see you like I normally do. All right, 68 people. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like our, it's our Friday Q&A queue, our crew, right? So we have uh, great, great members at ucollectthepros.com. We, we do a Q&A uh, every Friday for ukulele morning, and we have a lot of people that show up for that. Um, we had a guitar Q&A yesterday. Um, we're doing this tomorrow. We have a giveaway, a monthly giveaway for our ukuleles that we do. Um, uh, I'll have our team, my team put it in the chat there for that. If you have never signed up, we do give a ukulele away every month. Um, uh, and, uh, for our YouTube people. So anyway, we can sign up for that, but anyway, great to see everybody. All right. Good, good, good. Just going over to Chuck. Chug, okay. Oh yeah, do re mi fa sol la ti do. Yeah, you. It, it's kind of like that. Yeah, but yeah, 
do re mi though for this if we were playing all all uh all uh natural meaning no sharps or flats it would start on the c note right so do re mi fa so la ti do la ti do la ti do la ti do um but right, that's a different that's a different teaching approach um, that i don't i don't use that much although it's, it's great for singing uh, but it does work for playing as well all right now again this is not meant to be a three-hour workshop this is meant to get in get these notes done and then by the end of it which i'm going to teach you how to play a song only reading the notes no tablature right no notes written underneath all that stuff but you're going to learn how to play and read a song here by the end of this uh workshop whenever that is okay and then if you again you want to explore more that's when you're going to pick up I and mean, you should get just get that song pack i don't know how much we have it for but because you're going to get the course the beginning music course the workshop we did last week and then the workshop we're doing in in a couple of days all included for one price i'm not going to say the price because people will watch this video in like 10 years and be like oh i want that price so we'll just whatever the link is just get on whatever the link is and of course don't worry my platinum members you guys all already have all this stuff all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move ahead now to the next string all right we're gonna move right along to the next string keep this train rolling and our second string here is the e string so notice you want to pay attention to where the notes are not only on the ukulele but where they are on the staff and you notice that the e note here is on the very first line of the staff that's your open second string that's your e note everybody play that with me e so if you're doing so good so no no sorry me right do re me me fa so la ti do there you go all right so e first fret of the second string with my first finger is your f note notice where it is on the staff right on the second uh sorry the first space there it is and then g on the third fret of the second string with your third finger and that is on the second line there all right so let's do that e f So there's those three notes. And now we know six notes. All right, and that's what you need to know how to play our song today is these six notes. All right, so here we go. Now, this is, this is set up like the last one that we did, except for it's on the second string. So we have, we have whole notes only using the E, the F, and the G, okay? Scan it over. Now I kept it simple for you. I even left the note names underneath for your little cheat sheet for you. Remember, whole notes get four beats. Let them ring out for four beats. Means we're playing on beat one of every measure. So one, two, three, four, and three, and two, three, and two, three, and two three and one two three and all right so how'd you do drop in a chat i should show you my phone when i was doing the wrong handout earlier <laughs> my team sent me like 20 messages saying i had the wrong form with the link that's funny that's really funny okay good 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 all right anyway you should have a you should have a you should have a, a five on that we're just doing a one to five skill. You should be a five on that. Let me check the chat real quick. We're going to take a couple more exercises, then we're going to start the song that I prompt you. Okay. All right. All right. Good. Thank you. I do know how to read music, but it's slow. Like sometimes it takes me seconds to remember which note. Yeah. How can you speak? So, 
there's no secret to music reading except for the practice the the the, the constant the constant practice so you know they sell like music reading flashcards. So if it's a if it's a matter of and by the way, I'm answering one of the questions. If it's a matter of just looking at the note on the staff and realizing what note it is, then that's just a matter of practice. You can get you can buy music reading flashcards. You can make music reading flashcards if you want. And so that's just a that's just a, a repetition, a repetition. And what your eyes will start seeing, they'll start seeing those five lines and the spaces, and you start recognizing those notes they are. Now, if it's a question of looking at the music on the piece of paper and then figuring out where it is, that's another, that's another thing we need to practice, right? Recognizing the note on the staff, training our brain to play it on you. And that's why I did that music reading course, by the way. There's not a lot of music reading courses on the ukulele out there. So I did, it's been a few years since I did it, but that's, that's a great course to do it. And then once you get the basics down, you can take a book. I don't have it here. You could take a book like the daily ukulele book that has all the melodies in it. And you can start reading those melodies. And that's a great thing of practice. Reading those melodies, reading those melodies, turning to the next page, reading the melody, practicing it one or two times, and then moving to the next page. And practice and repetition is the key to this. Okay. Practice and repetition. All right. Yeah, piano players are usually pretty good readers. Saxophones are usually pretty good readers. Most instruments are pretty good readers, except for the worst readers are guitar players and ukulele players. Because we don't have to learn to read music. We can just grab this instrument, right? We can just learn some chords. Oh, cool. I can play, I can play something cool sounding. And so we kind of skipped that. And I was the same way as a kid, as a guitar player and a ukulele player. And so it's something that is not stressed enough in our ukulele world or a community. All right. All right. So the next one here then is the half note. Again, we're still on just the second string, E, F, and G. Three notes. That's it. Keeping it simple for right now. E, F, and G on the second string. Look it over real quick. What are the notes? What are the rhythm? Are there repeat signs? Are there anything hard that you need to look for? Okay. All right. These are things that you need to look at. All right. You need to continue to look at these every time you play a piece of music. Okay. Here we go. First note is what? E. E. One. In fact, let me get the metronome out. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I feel like it might have been a little loud last time. Okay, I got the metronome set at 80 beats per minute. So you can determine if it's fast or slow for you. One, two, one, two, three, and. Now we repeat, I'll say the note for you. E, E, F, F, E, E, G, G, and E. Boom. All right, how did you do? Hopefully you're doing well. My biggest thing right now is comprehension and if you're understanding what I'm going talking about, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, maybe you need to improve. Maybe you need to get faster at reading the notes. Maybe you need to get faster at rhythms. Maybe you need to get more accurate moving your fingers around. That's fine. We all need that actually. I need that as well. But are you comprehending it? That's my, that's my, that's my big thing right now. And I want you to be able to comprehend this stuff. All right. Now, we got one more example here, and then we'll get to the song. By the way, if you don't have this packet, you should have got it in your email when you signed up for this. If you don't have it in your email, then you can, you got to go 
sign up. I don't know. You got to sign up and then you'll get it right away or something. I don't, I don't know the thing, but basically just, we'll put a link here for you. If you need this packet, cause you should have this packet, put it in your folder, put it in your binder and carry it around with you. Then what we're going to do is continue with this stuff on Friday when we do part two. And I'll tell you about a little bit more about that in a second. All right. So here we go. Quarter notes. Look it over. Look at the shape. You should almost be able to read, even sing this shape based off the how the notes move up and down. And that's what happens. I don't know if if you all go to church or if you you know look at music reading books, but you know that's a great a great place to practice your sight reading. You know, so at our church we have the music books. And there might be a song you don't know, and you don't know the melody, but you see the melody, you see the words, so you can you can kind of grab the melody as you practice this and get better of how the notes move up and down and how the shape of it is and how the rhythm is. Okay, so that's a great way to practice that way. And you don't even have to worry about where it is on an instrument because you're just singing it. Okay? So that's something to consider as another form of practice uh, if you want. Here we go. What's your first note? Should be G, second string, third fret. One, uh, with the metronome. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we're almost ready for the song. Remember, that was my promise to you at the beginning of this workshop that by the end of this workshop, which wasn't going to be a forever workshop, you're going to be able to play a song. And we're almost ready for that song. We got one more exercise to do. And then we'll, we'll, I'll show you that song. Are you enjoying this? Are you getting anything out of it? Hopefully, either you are learning how to read music, like this is a beginner, you haven't done it before, you're learning, this is a process, maybe you've done it or haven't done it for a while, a refresher course, or you're just here because you enjoy reading this stuff. I mean, I just enjoy doing this stuff. This stuff's not hard for me at this level, but it's, I like it. It's enjoyable to me. It's fun playing these things. It's fun showing you guys how to play these things. All right, so so where it, everyone's at a different spot. And so hopefully you get the enjoyment of learning, getting better, you know, whatever it is. And if you do enjoy this, again, I've mentioned this, the part two workshop, which is going to get into harder songs, by the way. We're going to get to the third string and even the fourth string as well on that one and give you a bunch of exercises of practice music reading on all four of those strings. Uh, so that's part two, which is on this coming Friday. So if you enjoy that, we'll put that link for that workshop number two. The platinum members, if you're a platinum member or want to sign up for a platinum member, you get that included. That's not extra. The workshops are included in the platinum membership. Um, or if you just want to get the, the workshop by itself, that's fine too. Whatever, whatever gets you there, whatever gets you there, it's, it's fine with me. I want you to be committed to getting better at, at this music reading. All right, we got one more exercise. All right, and all this is, this is a great thing to have handy because this is at least the first two strings. This is all the notes you've learned today. Moving up and down. So you've tackled something that a lot of people are scared of just by being here. All right, so this is starting, this is basically E, F, G, A, B, C, B, A, G, F, E. Moving up and down the six notes that we've learned. Playing them with half notes. Okay, we'll keep it real simple. Not too fast. No need for that. It's not about speed. 
This is not like my technique course. This is just a getting it down. One, two, three, four. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go off the cuff here. Can we do this again? And again, it's just going up to six notes we learned. But could you make these all half notes? So instead of making them whole notes, just play each note like they're a half note, which means each note would get two beats. Let's see if we can do that. One, two, three, four, two. Here we go. Here we go. All right, now one more off the cuff. Do it again, but now we're gonna make each note a quarter note. D, 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 all right, each note a quarter note. One, two, three, four. Do it again, one, two, three, four. All right, throw something in the chat. 73 people, yes. That's an awesome commitment to music reading. All right, I'm gonna check something real quick. I, I'm, I'm trying to get a really special guest for our Q&A on Friday. I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Let me see if we've heard back from them yet. No, I haven't heard it. Oh, oh, I did hear back from it. Hey. So I just want to let you know, you all are the first to know this. I didn't see, I didn't see the, uh, the text message. Uh, this Friday, we do the Q&A I mentioned for our, uh, uh, our Platinum members. The one and only Peter Moss is going to be joining us this Friday in, in just a couple of days from when I'm, we're doing this. So Peter Moss will be here on the Q&A on uh, our Friday. So anyway, you click to pros.com uh, slash platinum. I think that's for the platinum membership if you want to get the, the Q&A. So that's exciting news. All right. So a lot of you people are already members. So Peter Moss will be joining us for that this Friday morning, all the way from the UK joining us. Uh, and uh, what was cool about Peter, uh, besides him being a great player, uh, is that he's got a new ukulele out with flight, the Peter Moss flight ukulele. So we, we carried that. And I had to actually get those from flight, which was a huge, huge ordeal, <laughs> a really big ordeal to get them. Um, and he was so thankful. He just kept on reaching out to us, thanking us for supporting his uke and all that stuff. And, and, uh, and I was like, well, let's get together on a call. And then uh, I was like, you know, then one of my, my team members were like, well, get them on the Q and A. So anyways, he'll be on the Q and A. Um, I never, I never spoke with Peter before. So I'm excited to meet him myself and talk to him. So anyway, that will be this Friday, Peter Moss, the one and only great Peter Moss. If you don't know Peter Moss, M O S S, go ahead and check him out uh, on a great performer, a great teacher, great guy. Um, check him out. Okay, here we go. This is what I, uh, uh, this is what I need to, uh, I, I told you, okay? I told you that we were gonna be playing one song today by the end of this. And this is about right. Yeah, we weren't, again, I wasn't planning on doing a, a big long three hour thing. I just wanna get you here. All right, so your song today that you are gonna learn is a song called LP Blues. This is a song I wrote, all right? I'm gonna play it for you once if you play it Try playing it when you're when you're doing it. That's fine too. But this one is going to use both the first and the second strings. 
look at the rhythm. It's got a lot of the same rhythm, but it does vary a little bit. It has chords in it. Matter of fact, I think I, I probably can find the backing track. That was a chord. That wasn't the song. But let's let's play the song. All right. I'll find a backing track so we can play with the back track. Here we go. Let's just play it. This is sight reading. One, two, three, four. Okay, there it is. That's the sound of it. Some of you may need to hear the song first, which you shouldn't have to. I know it seems that way, like when you're in a new song, you don't know that it, 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 it's cool when you can hear it first, I guess. But if you're really good at music reading, you don't need to hear it first. You can play it and you'll hear it as you're playing it. And that's what's the cool thing about learning all these notes. Is. All right, so that's LP. We're going we're gonna to break that down for you right now. Uh, if you read that with me, put, put, that, put that score in the chat, one to five. I'm going to grab the backing track real quick. Let me see if I can grab the backing track for this, and then we can play it with the backing track. And, I'll, and that will be our, our highlight of our workshop, which is playing this, this backing track. So let me find, all right, where is it? Here we go. All right, there's a file for my backing tracks. All right, there's my backing tracks. So this one is, uh, let's see here. LP Blues, ah, there it is, I found it. All right, awesome. Let me copy this to my desktop. I'll put it in a folder so I know where it is. All right, so I'm gonna copy that. I'll play it in a second, it's gotta, it's gotta download, there we go, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's our backing track. All right. Let's go back to this thing here real quick. Let me break it down for you. I'll break it down for you. All right. Hold on. I got to Now I got to find my, uh, where's my zoom at? There we go. All right, so here we go. Here's our song, LP Blues. Let's look at the first line first. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. All right, first note is E, hit it twice, and then to the G. And notice that G is a half note, so you're gonna hold that G a little bit longer. Measure two now, you're going to A, A again, and C. And that C is, a, yeah, C is a half note, right? So hold it out, boom. The next measure, what do you notice about this one? That's just a repeat of measure one here. And then we got the last measure here, which is A, A, G, A, A, G. All right, so let's play this nice and slow. One, two, three, four, so it's and mm. all right, there it is, E, E, G, A, A, C, E, E, G, A, A, G, don't worry about the chords. Ignore these chords up above. Just ignore them, right? Don't worry about them. All right, now if we look at the bottom, it starts off the same. First two measures are the same, aren't they? The same is right above. All right, let's do that. Three, four, and it's... And now we have a little, uh, little ending. 
that's different. Pretty cool, actually. So it's gonna so C, C again. Now open A, and E. A little jump there. G G A. Do it with me. Three and. All right. Let's put it. Up. Let's put the last line together now. Just the last four measures. One, two. Mm. And woo. Ah, that, I, I was doing the whole song. I was, I was, I was up here. I was up here. All right, so we're gonna do it again. My fault. I was, I was just getting into it too much. Here we go. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, and. got two more performances of this piece we're going to do it one time together no backing track no backing track and then one time with the backing track which will be the last thing we do all right here we go the whole thing one two three four is All right, get ready, get ready. This is our grand finale now. We're gonna do this with the backing track now. This is your, this is where it's all coming together. You get one shot at this to see how you do. One shot to lock in with the backing track. If you're enjoying this, hopefully you are. I'm having a great time. Appreciate you being here. Uh, if you like, we're gonna do the, the next two strings and more, even a few more songs using those first two strings on the Friday workshop part two, beginning music green work workshop part two. We got a special bundle for you today for it. The beginning music reading course. That's a full course, by the way, that has, I don't even know, maybe like 60, 60 songs in it, 60 examples, a lot of examples, videos, all that stuff. You get that course, you get the beginning music reading workshop part one. That was an hour and a half long workshop we did last week. And then you're also going to get the beginning of the music re reading workshop part two, uh, which is coming up in a few days. All right, it's all included. It's great price. We blew it out. So for those of you that are committed, all right, I want you guys to get ready here. Okay, get ready. We're going to read it with the backing track now. I want you to nail it. Take a deep breath. Get ready. No mistakes. All right, clean notes. Clean notes for the whole entire thing. All right, clean notes. Here we go. Back in track, ready? Let me see how many counting you get. Okay, you get eight, you get eight countings, eight clicks. You're gonna hear eight clicks. Here we go. I count you in. One, two, three, four. All right, that was it. That was your grand finale right there. Put that in the chat. If you if you need to do it one more time, I'll give you one more shot if you want it, but we don't have to. Um, but great job, fantastic job. Look at that. In an hour, an hour, you essentially have learned how to read a piece of music on the staff. No tablature. You can play it, you count it, you play it with the backing track, you learn two strings here, the first and the second string, how to read. All right? You're on your way. And look at how, how much we can 
do in just one hour. Okay, one hour. Let me check. I don't know if you want to do it again or not. I'll leave that up to you. I'll let the, let the crowd here. All right, five, 4.5, five, five. Once more, Amy saying one more time. All right, uh, we'll do it one more time. Uh, the other thing I mentioned earlier is I'm really excited about is the Yukon Festival here in San Diego, both in person and virtual. Just at the top of my head, actually, I have a, I do have a, a poster right there on my wall. The artists that are coming, six time Grammy winning artist Daniel Ho is coming, Grammy winning guitar player Larry Mitchell is coming, Danny Ucero is coming all the way from Spain. From Hawaii alone, we got Joe and Kristen Souza, the founders of Kanalea. We got Chris Fuchigami coming over from Hilo. We got Andrew Molina coming from Maui. We got uh, Aldrin Guerrero coming from Oahu. All right, those are the, the Hawaiian guys coming. Anthony Stanley, who's a local, also a Hawaiian guy is coming. Timothy Cruz is coming. Bernadette is coming. Uh, Abby Lyons is coming. Victoria Vox is coming. Uh, I'm going to be there uh, as well. Who else did I miss? Uh, Hiahe is going. Victoria Jiggy with Viggy is coming. Uh, yeah. So that's it. That's the lineup. You've got the pros.com slash UConn. You, you should really come out in person, even if the flights are expensive, even if everything's expensive. I, I know it is. You, you should still come. It's worth coming to be in person. Um, we, we've, we've actually updated a few of the tickets at, at the, on the site. So you can get, um, we opened up a few more VIPs, which are the most valuable or the most popular tickets. We also um, updated some of the tickets as well up there. So that's all there. You click the pros.com slash UConn. If for some reason you can't come, just, just do the virtual. I don't know what the virtual is. It's cheap. <laughs> it's, 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 it's really inexpensive. You're going to get the performances and the workshops. We're going to stream both of them together, right? We're going to stream the workshops. We're going to stream the performances, all right? So you want to, you want to come to that, all right? It's been a lot of, been a lot of work putting it together we're still working to put it all together but all the artists are booked all the artists have all their flights are booked the hotels are booked so all that's taken care of already and um just just so you know what you all paying for the festival i want to pay what you guys are paying because what i had to pay for the festival is crazy <laughs> it's crazy all right but i put it on for you guys and i want because i want you guys to have this experience i want you to see all these artists together so it's, it's phenomenal. I'm blessed that uh, all these artists agreed to come to this festival. Pepe Romero's coming, by the way. Uh, Ohana's going to have a booth. Uh, Kala's going to have a booth. Uh, we got food trucks, the beer and wine. We, we might have a little outdoor area where people can do a little uh, open mic. We might do that too. We'll see. But anyway, I want to see you there. I want to see you there. All right, here we go. Get your ukes ready. Last chance. LP Blues with the backing track. You got eight clicks. Play it perfectly. No mistakes. Let's go. One, two, ready. Uh. Let me be the first to say congratulations to you guys. That's the commitment, taking an hour of your day on a Wednesday afternoon to be here, to learn music reading, to practice music reading, to just review music reading, whatever level you're at, is, uh, is a commitment. And that is appreciated that you guys did that. Okay, what do we have? Tomorrow, if you haven't, we're doing our ukulele giveaway. We give away ukulele every month for our YouTubers. All right, so uh, we'll put a link for that. Uh, I think it's ukulelepros.com slash win. I'm not sure. We'll put it in the chat. But anyway, that's tomorrow. We're going to give away ukulele to some lucky winner. And, and there's no uh, – all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, and our YouTube channel, which we're at, what, 136,000 uh, subscribers. Uh, 
All you got to do is subscribe and then sign up on that link. All right, so we'll do that. And then Friday, we got a Q&A with the great Peter Moss. And then we got the part two music reading workshop later on in that day. So a lot of stuff going on just this week alone. Just this week alone. And then I decided when I go to Maui, I'm taking my ukulele and I'm taking a guitar too. I'm going to actually travel with one of those Nova Go guitars because uh, they're light, they're small, and we can go with them. So anyway, lots going on. All right. I appreciate y'all being here. Let me check the chat one last time. Let me know how you enjoyed this. Let me get my glasses on. All right. Maria, you are welcome. Jackie, Elaine, Kevin, that's nice. Kevin said that his kids get excited when they see me, Mr. Terry. I love that. Uh, uh, his three-year-old calls him Brother Terry because of the Play Low G video. Awesome. Awesome. That's awesome, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Lisa, Carmen, great job. Joanne, Rick. Keep it up, Rick. Joe, Janine, Brenda, Roy, Kenneth, Bird, what's up, Bird? Joel, Donna. All right, y'all, you guys are awesome. Appreciate you being here. Uh, keep working on this. If there's anything we can do for you, let us know. You can call us. You can email us. You can live chat with us. You can text us. So whatever we can help you out at store.youcollectorpros.com, at youcollectorpros.com, whatever, whatever you need, don't hesitate to reach out to me, reach out to my team, and we'll get you taken care of. So, uh, so I appreciate it. So all right, let's get on out of here. Have a great rest of your day. Practice this stuff. I'll see you guys for hopefully one of the things to give away the Q and a or part two of the workshop, whatever, but we'll see you soon. Thank you for all the support, everything you guys do for, for me, you like the pros community and each other. That's all really, really appreciate. So, all right, y'all I'm going to out of here. I will see you soon.